Hi everyone, thanks for coming back for part 3 of more April Bible Codes. In my last video, I had just finished going over these two tables right here. The first one up here is the one that I have on my screen. And I thought I only had one more Bible Code to share. And I actually do just have one more, but what I didn't realize is that I have all these other terms right here, which actually came up in this Bible code that I've already gone over that was coming up in Isaiah 611 through 714 and that's the one where it started out by saying how long Lord so I have all those other terms to share in this video I mean in this Bible code but what's really interesting about this Bible code that I had forgotten about well, I actually did remember when I got to the part about the firebrand, but I didn't have the, the video, this video up in order to say anything about it. Or this one, I have a couple of different versions of the video. But I didn't have it up in order to mention anything about it, but the video talks about a missile that Hashem that God stops in the air and the video also talks about the nations being confederate with with Gog which the, the Bible has many names for you know one of those names is the king of Syria and if you recall when I had read the, the matrix it was talking about how the, the king of Syria and this confederation here went up to Jerusalem to war against it but could not prevail against it and it said that Syria is confederate with Ephraim which is the the nations or the Goyim as they're re referred to in this video I could I could take it back a little bit to to show you that part okay okay over here it says the whole world will simply be involved in that war everybody all the goyim all the Arabs everybody will come against the nation of Israel and will fight in that war in this video they had also mentioned something about Isis I'm not sure exactly where that is in here but I had remembered that when I was looking over this table all these other terms I had done previously but I just did this one a little while ago just to see if Isis comes up and I just want to show that one to you first and as you can see the word Isis comes up right here in the yellow and it's sharing this S right here that's the in the green here is the word rise so it's sharing the S in rise but Isis is right here in the yellow with the letters I S I S and it's amazing how it comes up right where it says saying Syria is confederate with Ephraim and a frame is the the nations or the goyim that's gonna come against Israel and it's right within the word Syria is where you have Isis coming up so I'm sure that that's not by chance but he had just asked in the video at one point what about Isis you know what what, what is their part in all of this and I would have to go through the, the video to try to find that but it, it definitely mentions that in the video and then I want to show you this part right here at the end where he's talking about how the war is going to start and I'll just play it a little bit okay he's saying it's gonna that it started on September 11th Okay, so he says, so how come we didn't feel anything? Because the Holy One will bless 
it said because the Holy One be blessed is not going to let it happen right away. Then he's saying what will happen is one day everything will explode. Something will happen to cause everything to escalate. We will know instantly that we are in full blown war. And everyone will say World War Three has begun. Okay, so now the rabbi is saying, so you are saying that there will be some sort of security breach that will blow out of proportion. And I just want to show you over here in the table, it actually mentions the word breach. That's one of the, one of the things I had noticed while I was doing this table and I was reminded of the video. And I'll just try to find it over here so I can read it. Okay, it's actually not showing up here. It's the next verse down. It's just showing up in the matrix. So I'll just read it off the matrix here. And it says, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Amalia have purposed evil. And right here where it says purposed evil, it creates the word devil because of the abacus effect. You can see the word devil right there. And as you'll see later, one of the other terms that comes up is Satan, which comes pretty close to the word de devil in the matrix as well, right near this part. But anyway, it says they've purposed evil against thee, saying, let us go up against Judah and vex it and let us make a breach there in for us and and right here's another abacus effect where it has USA and it's interesting how USA comes up right up above this other term for USA I don't know which one is more accurate but both of these terms come up probably this one's more accurate at this point but maybe during the tribulation maybe that one might be more accurate I, I don't really know why both come up but both of those terms come up so it's saying let us make a breach there in for us and set up a king in the midst of it even the son of Tabeel thus saith the Lord Jehovah it shall not stand okay so that's the evil purpose that they've purposed against Israel and Syria and Ephraim the nations are involved and as well as the king of Syria they're all involved in coming up against Israel it even mentions the king of Israel in this so but I'm not sure if that's speaking of the leader of Israel or not but it that's who it mentions and a, a confederation that goes against Israel but it shall not stand so I thought that was very interesting how it all seems to match with the video and there's still more that that matches that I want to point out I had pointed out the this word firebrand that comes up in the in the table and how it means missile that's one of the definitions for it is missile and so I just want to show you another part in the video okay for that one you have to go to this other video this video didn't use the word breach in the translation the original video you had used that word but this video has the entire session and this part was recorded after this one so I have to use the full video for this one
Okay, I, I probably should have had it a little bit more forward, but it's going to get to the part of the missile really soon. So I'm just going to continue playing it and you can just read what it says. Okay, here's where it's going to mention the missile. Okay, now we'll get to the part about the rockets and missiles. And then Natan says, yes. I heard about that from a lot of source, sources. And there's also a prophecy that talks about a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb, there really will be a nuclear bomb, but the bomb will be small, not large, and it, the Kadesh Baruch Hu, will simply stop it in the sky and it won't fall. Do you mean to say that they will shoot a nuclear bomb at us and Hashem will freeze it in the sky? He will freeze it in the sky and then after some time, after a few weeks, it will fall, but it will only fall on specific cities, two specific cities, Tel Aviv and Haifa. So if we go back to the table, okay, over here it said, take heed and be quiet, fear not neither let thy heart be faint because of these two tales of smoking firebrands for the fierce anger of Rezin and Syria and the son of Ramalia. And so it's talking about two tales of smoking firebrands. And in the video it's talking about a missile that hits two cities. So I'm not sure how that works if it splits off into two or or what happens exactly but it hits two cities and this is talking about two tales of smoking firebrands so I just thought that was really amazing how this table seems to confirm what was um, testified in in this video in the, the testimony of Natan and what's also interesting is when you go to this other table that I did, this April meteor sign table, which I'll get into as well, but that one mentions Nathan the prophet. And Nathan is how you say Natan in, in uh, English. The, the English version of Natan is Nathan. And so, and over here it has according to and then Nathan the prophet comes up in this table. So it's, it's interesting how these tables seem to make mention of what was testified by Natan. And I do believe that God showed him all these events at this particular time as a prophecy. To Because the Bible says that God does not do anything unless he reveals it to his servants, the prophets, first. So he decided to reveal it to, to this young man, to this teenage boy named Natan. And so I thought that was really interesting and in how it's also coming up in the Bible codes. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the rest of the terms that come up in the Isaiah 6, 11, matrix which is the one that begins by saying how long Lord I'm going to go over those first and then I'm going to go over the other table but I'll start doing that in the next video thanks